A vital plumbing system for any building is the fire protection system, which we will model here. We'll begin by adding sprinklers into the ceiling space. Let's open the Level 3 ceiling plan in the plumbing section of the browser and zoom into the center of the building near the corridor. Then open the sprinkler tool in the plumbing and piping panel of the Home tab. Here we already have an appropriate sprinkler loaded, a half inch hosted pendant. Since we will be locating these on ceilings in this plan view, let's choose Place on Face. Let's place four sprinklers in a 2x2 two two grid layout in the central corridor in front of the elevator shaft. The ceiling object will be detected so that the sprinklers are modeled at the matching elevation. We can confirm that they were placed in a 9-foot elevation, just as the ceiling is. Now let's connect those sprinklers with pipe and create a system. Right-click one of the fixtures, then use the Select All Instances Visible in the View command to select all the sprinklers in the corridor. The Modify Sprinklers tab appears, and we can choose to create a new piping or a fire protection system for these sprinklers. We'll use the Create Wet Fire Protection System tool. The Piping Systems tab appears, and we'll choose the Generate Layout tool. Let's keep the network option as is but we'll enter the settings to define the offset for the main and branch pipes of this pipe network to be nine and a half feet, which is just above the nine foot ceiling. Click OK and cycle through the available solutions by clicking the arrow icon. We can see that the second solution is the better routing layout than the first. We'll choose that and click Finish Layout. Finally, to double check that the piping network was generated, let's enter visibility graphics and turn off the ceiling objects. Now we've exposed the sprinkler piping and see it was modeled correctly. This sprinkler system will also appear in the system browser where all our other MEP systems are being tracked.